What is going on guys? This is the Tennessee Innkeeper. My name is Trey. Welcome to this video. I wasn't actually expecting to do a video today, but this package came in and uh, I had mentioned it in my last video uh, that I was having a package full of Tar Heel and stuff come in and quite frankly this showed up on my front porch today. So I'm very excited to get into it um, and show you guys what Tar Heel Ants does for their packages for packaging because my channel has been like uh, you know, and shack stuff and and shack related, which quite frankly, this is just the second review on the channel. The next one will, of course, be back to and shack stuff. But, anyways, enough of that rambling. Let's just get right into it. So, this is Tar Heel Ants. Um, I got a couple things in here. Two of the things that go to this also go to the mini hearts over here. So, um, let's just go ahead and like jump right into it. So, obviously, the biggest thing with Tar Heel Ants is they make sure. They, they give you plenty of packing peanuts. You see that? Like, this box is full of them. I think that honestly, they probably just sent uh, thousands of little packing peanuts inside this box instead of any actual products. So, um, I'm just gonna kind of scoop them out. Oh, we're getting somewhere. All right, I'm just gonna kind of hide it up here so no one can see what's going on. Cause that would defeat the fun. Okay, so they're all, everything is actually in this bag. Um, and inside of here. So I'm gonna keep those right there. Let me check through the box. So I think everything is in that. Yes. All right. Give me a second to clean up these packing peanuts, and I will get right back with you guys. Two hours later. All right, guys. I am back. So we're gonna just jump right into it. So this is gonna be the first thing I'm opening because um, you know it's it's just something basic. It's just a couple of test tubes that I got from Tar Heel Ants. As you can see, they wrap these very well. This is how almost all of their products are wrapped. So the mini hearts that I got, they were wrapped in like 7,000 layers of this wrapping plastic, whatever you wanna call it, shipping plastic, uh, just to make sure that your product stays safe and it doesn't get scratched on the way in because they do make some very high quality stuff and it would be a shame to have all of that high quality stuff come in all scratched up from shipping because, you know, UPS and FedEx, whoever you, you know, order your stuff with, sometimes they're a little jerkish and they will just throw your stuff around. So it's nice to see that companies like Tar Heel Lance, I hope you guys can actually hear me uh, through all this plastic. Uh, so it's nice to see that companies like Tar Heel Lance will just package your stuff up super nice, super secure. So these are some glass test tubes from Tar Heel Lance. Um, I don't know the actual dimensions of these, but I know for the Genesis test tube insert and the feeding dish, you have to order these specific test tubes. Now, the inserts, um, the Genesis inserts actually come with these test tubes, so whenever you order the inserts, you get these test tubes with it. I ordered three, obviously, so I'm going to put those right there for a minute. And now I'm going to open this bag. So this has a couple other things in it. Um, first, I'm gonna just show you Tar Heel Lance. They always send their business card. It's really cool. I like their business card. Super simple, super sweet. It says uh, their email on the back. I guess if you have any questions or some of your products come in damaged. Uh, it has their website and their address, all that fun stuff and their telephone number. Uh, put that over there. I'm going to hold off on showing you the inserts just because I want to show these uh, first. So. Um, I haven't opened them yet, obviously, because I just opened the box. But uh, these little things are the um, red panels that go on your uh, mini hearts. So whenever your uh, ants, you know, are in here, if you want to observe them, you can put this over top of it, and they won't even know you're watching them because uh, it pretty much, I think ants can't see the color red. Uh, don't hold me on that, but basically it helps to where you can observe them. They don't think you're watching them because it's dark. So I'm gonna actually try to open this on camera. I'm not the best at opening these kinds of things. Side so you can easily peel it off. So yeah, see, it's just red. There's nothing super amazing about it other than, like I said, you know, with all other products you can get from like Anshak, Tar Heel Ants, uh, I think even Ants Canada has some stuff, their Tower Series, uh, they come with this red uh, cover to cover their stuff up, so I'm not going to open the other one just because we'll just show off this one. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Uh, up against the light blue, it doesn't really look, well I guess it looks okay, it's not the prettiest. But definitely is going to help whenever you want to view your ants. Because uh, if you're like me, this is going to be on my desk. So I will be staring at these guys like 24-7. Uh, because I love watching ants like 
scourge around and run around doing their thing. It's pretty cool to watch them run around. So here it is on the red one, if I can see I put it on there. That's what it looks like on the red one. Sorry, there's a bit of a glare from my light. My light is extremely bright here. Let's turn it down. One or two ticks. So yeah, that's what it looks like on the red. We'll just go ahead and set this off to the side. I'm gonna put this one on this one. So that way, you know, the ants will definitely not be able to see you when you're looking at them because you won't be able to see them. It's the perfect combination. So next, we're gonna go over these. Now, they're a little messy. I was not expecting the bag to be as messy as it is, but I guess with the uh, sand that are in the Genesis inserts, they kind of can't help that because obviously they're bouncing around and shitting, and I just threw a lot of it everywhere. Great. Oh, boy. Okay. So, like I said, I ordered three of these. I'll just show off one set. So, here, ooh, here's the insert. Okay. Lots of light. So, there's two sides to this. There's a fat side, right? And then there is a skinnier side. I hope that's focused. I am not really looking at my phone here, which is what's recording. So, yeah, fat side, skinny side, big side, little side. I can go on for hours with that, just saying. And then there's a substrate inside. It's like a sandy gravel. It's really nice, actually. I, I like the feel to it. Obviously, it doesn't matter about what I like because this is for the ants. So uh, I'll have to test it with the ants. And then here is the feeder that uh, you can also purchase. This does not come with the inserts. So don't order the inserts thinking you're going to get this awesome little feeder dish. But um, I, I'm not going to put water in these just yet and stuff because I don't have any ants to, um, you know, show off. But basically... You'll put the bigger end in first, like that. Ooh, it fits perfect, too. And then you will put your feeder insert in there, kind of like so. All right, I think I did this right. And then you'll get, like, a Sharpie or what I've seen people such as um, Miles, I believe his name is on the ad network, Ant Network. Uh, he put tape around it to mark where to put his cotton and stuff, and that is super smart because painter's tape does not leave residue like normal scotch tape. So super smart, and then after that, you know, you take your stuff out, and you go in there, you would mark it with your tape, well, you would put water in there after that, because you've already marked it with your tape and stuff, and then you would put the cotton ball in there, you know, do your leak test, and then bada bing, bada boom. Now these are pretty large test tubes, this is like perfect for species such as Campanatus. Um, around my area, I get a lot of Campanatus discolor ants, which are like a red species, they're not as large as something like Campanatus uh, pennsylvanicus. So it's really nice to, um, you know, have that variety of uh, different types of ants in my area. So, yeah. And basically, that's all I wanted to show for this video. Um, sorry, it was pretty quick. Uh, kind of straight to the point, like usual in my videos. I've got a sand scratch my mouse pad up. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, so my desk is a giant mouse pad and me being the big brain I am started wiping the sand off of it instead of like vacuuming it off and now it's just left little micro scratches. <sighs> okay, whatever. So, like I said, here, ooh, that focus though, look at that, that's terrible. Let's try to refocus, there we go, cool, cool beans. Let's kind of change that too. Oh, can't change it while recording. Okay. Well, you get the gist of it. Um, so there's those. You got the test tubes. And we got the cool Genesis insert and the feeding dish. Uh, these are super good products. They feel really high quality. Uh, they're 3D printed, I believe. Yeah, 3D printed uh, products. The Genesis test tube insert and the feeder are 3D printed. Obviously, this is glass. You can't 3D print glass, I don't think. Um, so yeah, that's all of that, and I hope you guys kind of enjoyed it. It's kind of a quick review, like I said, quick unboxing, but it, this package came in today. I didn't really have time to plan for it, but I was excited, and I wanted to show these off because in my last video I mentioned that I had some stuff coming in for the uh, Tar Heel Ants mini hearts, and so uh, that was the stuff that came in for them. So obviously I'm going to jump on that to uh, see what's going on to kind of get all of that stuff ready to rock and roll to show to show you guys so thanks again for watching uh, if you enjoy please leave a like and uh, think about subscribing i have a couple more uh and shack products to review i actually have i think oh what is it three more in the works to review so those will all be lined up uh hopefully get us through february uh because they'll be on every saturday 
and then my ants will be out of hibernation before then. I plan on bringing my Chromatogaster and Laceus out of hibernation closer to the end of February, and my larger species, such as my Campanatus and Formica, I plan on bringing them out around March, the end of March, so uh, those guys will uh, be ready to be seen too. So thank you guys for watching. Again, please think about uh, liking and subscribing. Leave a comment. Give me some feedback. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about your input and stuff. Uh, anything I missed in the review that you would like to point out, please put in the comments, and I'll try to cover it in the next video. Uh, see you guys later. Bye-bye. Really quick, I also wanted to mention this. Um, for these mini hearts, they use a quarter-inch thick vinyl tubing. See that? Um, I did not order this vinyl tubing on like somewhere like Ants Canada or Tar Heel Ants. I believe that these ant websites oversell their vinyl tubing just to make an extra couple bucks, and that's fine, uh, especially because their specialty is not vinyl tubing, it's for ant products, like actual, you know, formicaria and stuff like that. But um, I got this at a local hardware store. This is three feet. Now, normally, I believe vinyl tubing online at these ant stores is around four bucks, and then you got to include the shipping and handling. Uh, where I bought this at a local hardware store, I got it for a dollar thirty-two, like three feet of it total for a dollar thirty-two after tax and everything. Some hardware stores are really cool. If you just need like a foot, they'll just sometimes give it to you. So uh, keep that in mind when you are shopping for ant products. If you know the exact size of your uh, tubing, like this one is quarter inch ID and three eighths OD. Obviously, you won't be able to see that on camera. I don't think. Yeah, you can. Whoa, uh, barely. Uh, you know, if you know the exact inner dimensions and outer dimensions of your tube that you need, go to a hardware store, like a really small local hardware store. Uh, though nine times out of ten, they should carry vinyl tubing because it is something that is uh, really random that people need. And uh, so, yeah, just keep that in mind. Just want to throw that out there like a last minute. Um, so, yeah. Bye, guys.